from San Giovanni Rotondo on YouTube. Well, I am Brady White, and for the past three years, I have been doing and hosting Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo on the Tele Radio Padre Pio Network. Well, we are now on YouTube. Let me tell you a little bit about Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. It is my idea to bring you the places that Padre Pio walked, lived, prayed for 50 years here during his time in San Giovanni Rotondo. Padre Pio prayed incessantly here in San Giovanni Rotondo. We visit the places in the shrine, we visit the paese, and also when I'm outside of San Giovanni Rotondo, whether it be in Europe, maybe in Rome or Florence, maybe in Germany, maybe when I'm in America. Something to do with Padre Pio. Padre Pio enjoyed life and wanted us to enjoy life. My idea with Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo is that we enjoy life. We thank God for the gifts that he has given us. At the end of each program, we pray the Hail Mary. That is the prayer that Padre Pio used as a weapon. He used his rosary as a weapon. So in closing on Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo, we always remember all our brothers and sisters in prayer. Well, I hope that you become a follower of Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. If you see this and like it, please pass it along to your friends. God bless you. May our Blessed Mother and Padre Pio always watch over, protect, and guide you and all those you love. Pace bene. Peace and goodwill from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. I hope that you will enjoy the episodes I have chosen. So, let us sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, people, you recognize this face. This is Sister Josefina. And you know, last year, she was so kind, uh, she asked me to be part of her program in the school. Sister works uh, in uh, San Giovanni Rotondo, and she serves the community, her and her order. And uh, they have a school with young children, and I was asked to be, um, who Noah. was it? Noah, I was Noah. But anyway, we're here today because we are talking about the beatification of Teresa Mangianello. Mangianello. Sister, please tell a little bit about uh, Teresa. She was born where she lived. Okay, uh, she's born in the 18... Ah, Lauda, okay. Uh, Teresa Mangianello was born in Avellino. Oh, born in Avellino. Um, she's, uh, she don't know how to read. Oh, she didn't know write. how to read or write. Oh. She's a very simple girl, uh, country girl, let us say. Like that. Oh, she was a country <laughs> girl. Oh. And she, she's so simple. Um, she, she really had uh, this um, great gift from God to, to offer herself to for the reparation of the sins, especially for the uncontrolled sensualism. Oh, for again, sister? Uncontrolled sensualism. Okay. Because in that time, no, as you, we know, uh, also in our period, it's oh. very, um, the morals is very The morals very are very low, low. Yes. yes. But and at that our, time, also, yes, also, and she yes. really offered her life yes. for this. And our founder, uh, founded our congregation really for this, uh, to, to make reparation for the, for the sins of the world, especially for this purpose, no? for the uncontrolled sensualism. But Teresa Manganiello, uh, she did not become a sister because she died first. She died only at 27 years. She died very young, at 27. Yes, 27. She was not a sister. No, she but did she's, not a did she start the order or did she? No, no, no. Because our founder wanted to be, wanted to make her the first mother general. But she was not able to, to reach this because um, she got a tuberculosis. Oh, she had tuberculosis. Yeah, oh, she, sister. Her continuous contact with the sick people 
um, behavior uh, really uh, makes her body so uh, weak. And she made many balances with, I, I know, uh, this one like a, like a, what's that? A shirt. Oh, like a shirt. Where she, she put many nails inside. Oh, she. And if, during the consecration, uh, during the mass, no? She made it so um, close near here, near here, her body, oh. that it pierced her. It pierced her skin, and it was really like um, the crown of thorns on yes, the on yes. the head of Christ. And he, oh, she offered this um, together with the sufferings of Jesus no? during the consecration. Oh. During the mass. And now this uh, penance is, um, I know, is very not so normal anymore. No, not so. I think after Vatican II, things changed yes, a little bit. Yes. yes. But. Uh, in the, the period, uh, really, he, she made this penance it's really to to share the sufferings of Jesus in order to to save souls. <gasps> oh, the, sister, the uh, can you tell us now? Yesterday, I, I mean, when we attended the beautiful beatification service, the mass. There were hundreds of priests, the, the, the crowd. Is there an estimated number of the people that attended? Yes. Um, we prepared the tickets yes. for uh, 10,000 people. For 10,000? I think there was more. Uh, nine, nine I think there was more. It was very, very crowded. Yes. And thanks be to God, the, the weather was so, they cooperated so much. <laughs> I think the angels, I think that God loves Teresa yes. because the weather did cooperate. Yes. The clouds were there during the day, a little sun come out, but it was very, very beautiful. And sister, may I ask, what was the miracle that propelled uh, Teresa to beatification? Yes. Um, this uh, a man from Rome. Uh, from Rome. His name is uh, Ermanno, Ermanno. Emmanuel. He's the, the, uh, the husband of the, the sister of one of our sisters. Okay, now the sister. Brother-in-law. Okay, the brother-in-law. Now sister, because it is quiet now, uh, for the audience, uh, there was talking going on. Please tell us the, uh, the miracle again, please. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, this, um, this man, he, he contacted um, the um, heart attack, no? Heart because, attack? Um, and the doctor said that there's no more respiration, there's no more pulse. No more pulse, he was dead, basically. Yeah, yes. But they, um, they observed him, uh, they told that he's already dead. They had said he was already dead, they pronounced him dead. But his family, his family, together with the sisters, we prayed so much, Teresa, for, um, for him. And on the anniversary of his um, death, anniversary of Teresa, that is uh, the fourth of November. The fourth of November. Uh, this man woke up from coma. Also, oh, okay, sister, he has a heart attack. He's really pronounced dead. His yes, vital yes, signs are dead. He is in a coma. Yes. And on the anniversary of Teresa's yes, death yeah, yeah. was November fourth, and he wakes up and comes out of the coma. Yes. The doctors told that they will, uh, if he lives. The, there will be um, oh, effects. Effects of something. Can yes. Be crazy. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, paralyzed. Uh, paralyzed, but yes. He is normal. He's 100% normal. Okay. Well, sister, you are 100% normal. And before the phones ring and the people start talking again, we will stop. It is always a pleasure to see you here in San Giovanni Rotondo. Okay. And uh, God bless uh, Teresa. And we hope that whether it be one year, whether it be 50 years, that we, uh, she will reach sainthood because if okay. she is. Yes. Somewhat close to you, uh -huh. she will be. She will receive her crown. Thank you, okay. Sister Josefina. Thank, Thank you, you so much.
Let us not forget our brothers and sisters during this time. Let us pray now the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much, the Hail Mary. Let us remember as we offer this Hail Mary for all of you who are watching, hello from San Giovanni Rotundo, for those you are thinking of, for those that are close in your heart, for those who are alone and have no one to remember them, for those who are involved in disasters and war throughout the world, for the unborn, for peace in this world, for the Holy Father, for his intentions, for all the priests and clergy, religious and missionaries, that they may have the strength to continue God's work. For all our family, our friends, and our enemies, for all those who are suffering in the homes, the hospitals, and the jails, for all those who have died, our loved ones, for all the souls in purgatory, that they may rest in peace. For all your intentions, please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Our Lady of Grace, Pray for us. St. Pio, pray for us. Now remember, you can email us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>